See Argentina. We took a, what if Nigeria win this match? All right. So, um, what, a lot of the callers are saying Argentina will win, and, and you are, you are optim, optimistic that Nigeria will win. Why are you optimistic <laughs> that Flying Eagles will win? Well, I'm optimistic because if we can take the bull by the horn, we can do something. In as much as the records we have with them is really poor, mm. if you look at uh, the former games under 20 mm. during the UK time, mm. we lost to them in the final. Hello, let's have this call. Hello, good evening. All right, Nigeria, Argentina, your prediction 10 o'clock today. I really believe in my country. I think it's in Nigeria 2 1. Clap for yourself. I clap for myself. Clap for yourself, my brother. I mean, <laughs> we, we have had all these callers calling and, and saying Argentina will beat us. Argentina will beat us. Is it because Argentina is hosting? No, they are scared of Brazil. No. All right, no wahala. Thanks for your call. So, um, Brazil beat it. Was it that Nigeria was reluctantly, was reluctant against Brazil? Uh, not really reluctant. I saw hastiness in that game. They couldn't manage the pressure of that game. Mm. When the goals came in, mm. you saw they, they were restless. And in that history. Hello? Hello, good evening. Uh, good evening. This is Galadin from Bangor. Uh, All right, Galadin, tell us uh, prediction. Nigeria, Argentina, 10 o'clock today. Nigeria, we, uh, Argentina will win Nigeria. Uh, we're not at our goal. Why? Uh, our goal is not. This guy is Nigeria. Why did they talk like this now? All right, no one. Okay, you know what? You know what? Nigeria is going to win. Yeah. That's what I'm predicting. Nigeria is going to win. Nigeria is going to win. Nigeria will win. Nigeria two goals to nothing. Nigeria will beat Argentina one goal to nothing. Nigeria will beat Argentina one goal. Nigeria will beat Argentina one goal to nothing. Argentina will beat Nigeria two goals to nothing. I said Nigeria will beat Argentina one goal to nothing. No, 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 it's impossible. All right, no one. We'll see. Now, ten o'clock is is the time. Uh, we don't have enough time, um, briefly. Um, so uh, on the on if we, if we win Argentina, well, and then prove those guys wrong, mm -hmm. what's your does it? Can we actually win this cup? We yes, never done it, it will be a booster for us mm -hmm. to be a booster because losing to Brazil drained all drain our, our mentality. We beat our Italy, beat Dominican. Dominican is no foe. Those ones are easy to look. Okay. Uh -huh. So beating a powerhouse as in Argentina will put strings in. The win against Italy. Yeah. It, was it good for Is it good for us? We, we, lost, we beat Italy 2-0 and then lose, lost to Brazil 2-0. Yes, winning Italy was good because it confirmed our qualification. At least it gave us six points. So mm -hmm. we were a bit relaxed playing at Brazil. Mm -hmm. And also, knowing people were that all of our matches with Brazil would not won in this on the 20 tournament from the records. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And South Americans, they know how they play us somehow. Mm -hmm. So losing to them is not a good one, but that is for us to prove them wrong. I'll take one more call and we'll wrap up the show. Nigeria, Brazil, your name, your calling. Hello? Hello? All right. So, what about, let's talk about the Roma match. It's coming up tonight. Roma and um, Sevilla. Sevilla. Another interesting match. But let's take this call. Hello? Hello? Good evening. Your name, your calling from where? All right. I pray that uh, my, uh, if we are in the new government, and I know that uh, Nigeria will win this one. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> finally, we got to one. Finally, thank you very much, man. So we don't have enough time. So um, Roma and Sevilla. Roma and Sevilla, that game is a 50-50 game. Mm. You can go anyway. All right, so time not our friend. Uh, my name is Supriye Godwin Jaja. Emeka Wachuku has been our guest today. Thank you very much for, for, for taking our time to join us today. Um, Donald Barry has been pressing the right buttons and Izu has been being the cameraman. We'll leave you with highlights of how the Premier League ended and lots of happiness and sadness. Well, like, before I forget, commiserations to Leeds United and Leicester Met City. Two clubs that have gone down, got relegated. Those players' careers will have changed right now. And those players will be thinking where their career is heading. Nightmare for the fans. So I, I do spare a thought for those two clubs. Yeah, that's a good point, Robbie Earl. It's a sad, sad day to be a Leicester fan and a Leeds United fan right now. Yeah, when you think of what Leicester have done, Rebecca, over the last 10 years, they've won a title won an FA Cup, they've been in the quarterfinals of the Champions League, they're a team stacked with talent and, and they've gone but you have to say congratulations to Everton as the music kicks in now, you know, it's time for celebration Rebecca.